guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day. Here in the end times in paradise, where it is 73 degrees, 73 degrees on Friday, April 12th, 2024. Uh, I don't know when I will feel 73 degrees. I think it's pretty much the same temperature at Bugs in a Jar Farm in New York today, baby, as it is in Inverness, Florida on April 12th. But that is going to soon change. So I have been thoroughly enjoying this glorious 73 degree spring day with the nice breeze blowing sun shining out there finishing the stick pile from hell the brush pile from hell at least phase one has wrapped up today you can see that in a, another video so uh, thinking uh wrapping up my real estate investment part of my uh, career thinking of cranking up another season at bugs in a jar farm tiny house vacation rentals if anybody uh, wants to go see those places and is not uh, aware of this I have a YouTube channel called tiny like Finger Lakes tiny homes for rent on YouTube make sure you put tiny homes instead of tiny houses or you get another YouTube channel so you can see bugs in a jar farm so I already have four reservations so uh, getting ready to start raking in the big bucks at bugs in a jar farm to add to my uh, big bucks real estate investing big bucks social security and do not forget the big bucks I make on YouTube <clears throat> so uh, I want to thank brother Aaron for sending me this story out of Florida and you can uh, you can probably find the same story for your own state but it was called something like how much money does a single person need to make in Florida to live comfortably to live comfortably okay not uh, luxuriously but just to meet your basic needs so uh, understand that Florida is right in the middle of the pack. It's number 29 uh, out of 50. So there's, what, 28 states more expensive than Florida. And do the math on the other end. I'm 100% sure that New York uh, is a lot higher cost of living than Florida. So, you know, I live six months in Florida, six months in New York. So I know that the number that, that I'm getting ready to quote for Florida <clears throat> are higher in, in New York than Florida. But Florida is a good, you know, it's right there in the middle of the pack. So you can kind of uh, extrapolate how much money do you think, according to whoever uh, this is who defines the term living comfortably what what would you say uh, is it 25,000 50,000 75,000 100,000 we're talking one person we're not talking a family of four we're talking if you're a single person like I am uh, or Aaron is uh, living in Florida how much money do you need to live comfortably? If your answer was $46,000, $46,000 in the state of Florida will uh, buy you your basic needs. 
you know, which would be housing, food, and transportation. Those are the, the, the those are the big three: housing, food, and transportation. And then you can add on the the rest of them. Forty six thousand dollars. What that uh, translates to if you have a if you're a wage slave you know working at wherever uh, Walmart or wherever you're working uh, it's twenty two dollars an hour so if you're working forty hours a week and making twenty two dollars an hour uh, living on your own you can live comfortably now of course they have two asterisks by that that uh, uh, of course no shit Sherlock it's gonna cost a little bit more to live in Miami Beach than it is in Donellan all right so you've got that thing to consider and the other one a big one to consider is your what they call your lifestyle choices your lifestyle choices and and I would call your uh, your lifestyle minimum daily requirements of luxury uh, is you know how basic are you willing to live to be comfortable and um, so those are the two big defining factors now is that a, of course if you want to live you know not uh, like, like living in fucking mar lago uh, in in West Palm Beach or anything, but you know to live a somewhat jet setting beautiful person uh, life, you can basically double that. If you want to have uh, what did they say? If you want to cover all your basics, have some discretionary spending discretionary spending and put 20 percent of your income into savings you need to double it from 46 to 92 and uh so you know I, I, i'm reading that and then you're always reading these articles about um, they're usually talking about millennials <clears throat> when they're talking about this that uh, what percentage of Americans have less than five hundred dollars in savings and then of course you're always reading these articles about how um, Americans, and they're usually talking about millennials at this point, are, are, are just maxed out on their credit cards that they owe thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars uh, on, on their credit cards. Uh, so you, you, you take all of this information, so I'm looking at all of this shit, and uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm just blowing the fucking bullshit button. Uh, I guess I'm blowing the bullshit whistle and, and, and slapping the bullshit detected button. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm running the numbers on myself. And, uh, and... Uh, I, I don't mind saying, but you know, people are so weird uh, talking about uh, their income. I don't mind. I don't mind saying. I'll tell you right now uh, how much fucking money I make. I make ten thousand dollars a year Social Security in a year. Ten thousand fucking dollars uh, from Social Security. Actually, a little bit less than that. A few dollars less than that. Last year my vacation rental business grossed $15,000. Grossed $15,000. And, and I pretty much turn every penny I make back into the business. 
So at the end uh, of uh, my six months of vacation rentals, you know what I'm saying, uh, you subtract uh, how much I turned back into the business and it, it, it's not anywhere close to fucking fifteen thousand dollars I might make my first what I'm hoping is this summer in year three that I might make my first dollar that I have made since day one I might actually uh, hit the you know the red to black line and actually make the first dollar bill I have ever made uh, since I started my uh, tiny house rental business but grossed 15,000 uh, last year and then the uh, the other one is of course my uh, my YouTube uh, income which I just learned last week I made eight hundred dollars uh, on patreon last year eight hundred dollars last year on patreon and i don't know maybe another eight hundred dollars on uh on paypal and i really appreciate uh anyone who has ever donated a penny to what i do on youtube but uh so we've got 10 plus 15 is 25 even if we say which which is a joke 2000 on YouTube $27,000 now there is this little side wheel turning which of course is, is my real estate and investment income which you, you it is harder to factor in but I factored in, you know, I sold the place that we bought two years ago and immediately turned the, uh, the money right back into the next investment, uh, which is how real estate investing works. You buy low, you sell high and then you put the money right back into your next investment so i did not walk away with with, with a single penny in the bank but i but i figured it out uh, if i had to figure out how much money i made per day was nine dollars a day uh over those two years i made nine dollars a day so we're gonna call that three thousand dollars so we're gonna say uh at, at the absolute maximum i made thirty thousand dollars last year so i am not quite two-thirds of the way to living comfortably in, in the state of florida not quite two-thirds of the way and, and of course as they say one half of my income that fifteen thousand uh, dollar that, that I made uh, the, at my vacation rentals went back into the business uh, the ev every penny I made from my real estate investment went right back into real estate investing not one penny of it uh, went into my own housing, my own food, uh, my own transportation. Uh, you, you, you see what I'm saying here? Uh, it, so if if I actually if I actually quote made fucking fifteen thousand uh, dollars last year when you when you take off the the business expenses and, uh, and and the real estate investment reinvesting uh, if I made fifteen thousand fucking dollars last year uh, I, I would be shocked less than one third the income like if I was a wage slave uh, earning twenty two dollars an hour it would be like 
uh, I would be I was earning seven dollars an hour so interestingly on a uh, on an hourly wage a poverty wage is seven dollars and 24 cents an hour in the state of Florida if you're earning less than 725 an hour and you're a single person you are officially poverty stricken and that's uh, approximately what I earned. Uh, it, it was uh, was seven dollars and twenty five cents an hour uh, at, 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 by that uh, measure. So I'm so I guess I am living in poverty, and, and of course uh, these numbers in New York, where I live half the year, are are going to be a hell of a lot. Uh, more expensive than the numbers in Florida. Something doesn't add up. I don't feel like I live in poverty, but maybe I do. I live in a, for six months a year in Florida, I live in a 43-year-old single-wide trailer, you know, at the end of a dirt road, uh, in, in a swamp uh, in, in Denellum, Florida. And then for six months a year, I live in, in a tiny house. Uh, depending on which ones I have rented, uh, you know, I've got three tiny houses. One of them is seven feet by seven feet. One of them is eight feet by ten feet, which is what I think a prison cell is eight feet by ten feet, and the big mansion uh, is ten by twelve feet. A uh, hundred and twenty square feet is the house I choose to live in. It is the one hundred and twenty square foot house, and, and of course the main house where two people live is three hundred and eighty four square feet. Uh, and, and, and I start seeing this uh, the, 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 this ding 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 about this uh, these lifestyle choices, and I, I can already hear some people blowing the bullshit button, uh, uh, Hambone, that you own your place free and clear in uh, in New York. So uh, you don't uh, have a mortgage in New York, so your, your housing in New York uh, is free. Well, uh, my taxes are 1800 my insurance is, so it's taxes and insurance are right about $3,000. Uh, so for the six months I live there, that's about five hundred dollars a month uh, out of my pocket to uh, to live in a in a ten by twelve foot uh, tiny house. If I'm in the biggest of the three tiny houses, it's uh, it, it is true I don't have a mortgage because uh, I bought that place for thirty five thousand dollars. There, you, you, you know. There, uh, there's a hell of a lot of Hondurans or people from South Sudan who would not uh, have lived in that uh, house, particularly in the shape it was the day I bought it. Uh, you know, all, all the neighbors up there were absolutely shocked when I didn't bulldoze that shack. It is a 384 square foot shack uh, on, on the side of the road uh, that the vast majority of people never would have considered living in there. Never would have considered it. You, you know, the seller, when he sold it to me, he laughed. He goes, you get a free house when you buy this property. Uh, and he just assumed I was going to bulldoze the place that nobody in their fucking right mind uh, would would live in that damn hovel.
and this is uh, exactly obviously uh, what what I'm getting getting at is, is this whole bullshit lifestyle choices. It's uh, what people uh, will agree to to live in. You know, so I'm I'm wondering. I, I'm looking at this and, and, and wondering uh, how many people would not, for one second, consider. So I'm getting ready to turn down my road. Uh, they, they would never consider, never consider uh, living uh, in, in a uh, in a single wide trailer. Uh, at the end of a rutted out dirt road, uh, you know, next to this uh, uh, abandoned uh, piece of trailer trash next door with, with all of the junk in the fucking yard, uh, you know, they would, they would no more uh, agree to live here. Uh, than they would uh, in, in my little shack by the side of the road in New York. It, it would never occur to them. There, you can't see the trailer where I actually live. There it is. There's that fine looking, fine looking mobile home. And, uh, and you know, so I, I live in a fucking single wide uh, trailer. Uh, half the year, and, and I live in, in a just an absolute bare bones, primitive uh, little uh, wood frame tiny house uh, for for half the year. Uh, this is the floor of the passenger seat of my truck. You, you know, I I drive a what is this? I drive an eleven year old uh truck uh y you know all banged up and shit uh with 200,000 miles on it uh I, I absolutely love this truck it drives uh, like a brand new car but it's a fucking uh, 11 year old uh pickup truck uh with a bunch of dents in it and shit uh, no fucking way uh, th that a lot of these little uh, spoiled brat entitled uh, millennials or gen or whoever the fuck you are, and and, and sure as shit, uh, not many boomers uh, would uh, uh, agree to live. They they wouldn't consider it. It would it would never enter their mind just to suggest. To these fucking uh, the, the, these little entitled uh, little prima donnas that they're gonna live in a fucking uh, single wide trailer uh, or or a goddamn ten by twelve foot uh, tiny house uh, or, or that they're gonna drive a, a beat up eleven year old truck with two hundred thousand miles on it. They, they, they ain't going to do it. Uh, they're going to want, uh, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to want 46,000. They're minimally going to want their fucking 92,000 fucking dollar uh, job. Uh, I, I, I have no fucking sympathy for these fucking people. Uh, they, you know, put it on my, MasterCard, put it on my visa. <sighs> no fucking sympathy for them. It's better the, the, these motherfucking cigarette smokers. Uh, you know, chain smoking fucking cigarettes. Uh, whining uh, that they don't have any fucking money. They got the fucking money for those cigarettes. Uh, Jesus. Anywho, I just had a, 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 a bullshit. Uh, if, if, if I were making $46,000 a year, anywhere close to that, 
uh, anywhere close to fucking $46,000 a year. What I would be doing with the money is investing it in real estate. I would be putting my money to work for me. I would not be buying a fucking boat. I, I, I wouldn't be going and, uh, and eating a goddamn $50 uh, steak dinner every fucking night. Uh, $46,000. Uh, feel like a goddamn millionaire. If uh, So if, if I, and it sounds like I am, according to this definition, if this is the fucking definition of poverty... I am living in poverty. And uh, I guess this uh, explains the major reason why, why this big pile of women you see around me it, it, is that there's no fucking woman uh, in, in, in her goddamn right mind who's going to have any goddamn interest uh, in, 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 in a damn man uh, who is making uh, less than $30,000 a fucking year in their year 2024. Uh, they, they, they would have no more, uh, they're no more uh, going to hook up with some dude making less than $30,000 a year than they're going to hook up with, 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 with I, I, you know, I, I don't know what they would trade you know, you know what I'm saying, uh, because I I don't remember uh, having this problem of uh, of not having a woman in my life uh, when I made uh, well over a hundred thousand dollars a year, uh, lived in a beautiful four bedroom, three bath home uh, on the Green Belt in South Austin, Texas. Uh, drank the top shelf liquor, uh, flying off on th th these goddamn tropical vacations every year. It it it's amazing uh, how there always seemed to be a woman in my life. Uh, but but now uh, that uh, 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 like fuck, what a fucking loser. Uh, then the motherfucker drives a, he drives a, a an 11-year-old beat-up truck and, and lives in a fucking single-wide trailer in a swamp at the end of a fucking dirt road for half of the year and, and lives in a little cabin up in the fucking woods uh, for their other half of the year? Yeah, right. Anyway... I have got no fucking sympathy on any fucking level for anybody uh, making $46,000 a year uh, whining that they don't have enough fucking money. Poor, poor, pitiful you. Anytime you want to fucking trade incomes, uh, you, little, you little whiny pussy, uh, let me know. Let me the fuck know. Take some fucking responsibility for yourself, you fucking little entitled little, little pussy. You know, live within your fucking means. I don't have one fucking penny of credit card debt. Not a fucking penny. Anyway, with that, I'm going to go pour a nice margarita and head to the dock for my margarita sunset over the end times while I still can. Bye guys.